Welcome to Merry England and the ninth annual balloon race across the English Channel to Paris, France. Favorite to win today is stout-hearted Tom Slick. Yay! Tom, it's time to blow up your balloon. You mean inflate, Marigold. There's no such word as blow up in balloon racing. Of course, that doesn't mean it never happens. Here's the air smell can, Tommy. But that's insect repellent. In a pressurized can, Marigold, I just unscrew the top and... Ooh. Ooh! Does insect repellent work better than helium? No, but I'm not bothered by little crawly things. What a stirring sight, folks. There is the flying salami piloted by the noted Italian gourmet, Fellini Scalopini. Yay! There's the Tokyo Teensy, the world's only transistorized balloon. Yay! And here is the international spoil sport, Baron Automatic, with his mascot. Mascot? Rupert here is going to win the race for me. Yes, master. What I do? What I do? Nothing, Clatcher. I'm just warming up. Now here is the starter, Sir Stanley Steamer, talking with the pilot of the British balloon. I say, can we win, Pondsfoot? Not a bleeding chance, Gov. But I've bet a bundle on you. I'd better give you a head start. Bit crooked, isn't it, Gov? Nonsense. Let's just call it British racing luck. <laughs> on your mark. When I drop these sandbags, you let go, Gertie. Right. Get set. Go. <laughs> What happened, Pondsfoot? Let's just call it British racing luck, Gov. Let's go, Gertie. The balloons are at 500 feet. Gertie, you're holding us down. A thousand feet. Gertie, let go. But, Tom, we're a thousand feet up. Oh, why didn't she let go at 500? Because some low-down skunk put glue on the trail rope, that's why. Glue on the trail rope? Who's rotten, sneaky idea for that? Yours, master. You'd better believe it. And now the Tokyo Teensy drops its sand ballast and takes the lead. You know what to do, Rupert. Uh-oh. It looks like sleepy by time for the Japanese Sandman. Now the flying salami is in first place. But wait. Bellini Scalapini is attacking his own balloon with a knife and fork. He's cutting slices off it. Hey, that salami looked good enough to eat. So I ate it. What a terrible mistake. You said it. Needs some much more garlic. Now, Rupert, fly your evil little heart out for Uncle Otto. Tom, the Baron is beating us. Dolly whiz, Marigold. The extra weight is holding us back. Are you hinting that old Gertie is a drag? You girls will just have to draw straws to see who's going to jump. Jump? jump. It's the only way to lighten the balloon. But, Tom, we're 10,000 feet up. Well, I suppose I could go down to 8,000. Oh, that is big of you, Tom. It's still higher than the average curb. Well, Clatcher, we should sight the Eiffel Tower soon, and... We're going down. What are you doing, you numbskull? Uh, nothing, master. Not you, the other numbskull. Cabo, Cooper, Cabo, I say. It's no use. Cut us loose, Clatcher. Yes, master. <laughs> All right, girls, who got the short straw? I did, Tom. Sorry, Marigold, but there's one thing I want you to know. What's that? You are the prettiest ballast I ever dropped. Oh, Tom, how romantic. And now, goodbye, Marigold. We're going down again. Drop a cent back. I can't. There is a stowaway in the way. Very good. Well, your little trick won't work, Lipshin. Someone is going to have to jump out of this balloon, and you know who it is? Me? No, Clatcher. Why me? Because personally, you have never appealed to me, Clatcher. Jump! Yes, master. Tom, we're losing altitude. Yes, that miserable toady Clutcher has just landed on top of our balloon. How could he land on top of our balloon when we were above him? Let's just call it British racing luck, Gertie. 
Now to use my secret weapon. Uh-oh, the Baron is cheating again. I shall have to devise a cunning strategy. I know. You want us both to jump. No, take these oars and row as you've never rowed before. That'll be easy. I've never rowed before. Stroke, 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 stroke. You will never outwit Baron Automatic. Farewell, Tom Slick. And so, only three days later, Tom's balloon arrived in Paris, the only one to finish the race. An enthusiastic crowd was on hand. The winner, the good sport, Tom Slick. If, if, hooray. Congratulations, Tom. Marigold, how did you get here? The fast way, I swear, me channel. You'll catch your death of cold in those wet clothes, hon. Can't you think of some way to keep me warm, Tom? Mm, I think so. Come here, dear. There. I'll bet you're warmer now, aren't you? It's not exactly what I had in mind, Tom. Only 20 miles to England, Marigold. Stroke! 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 